Hello. <laughs> it is six o'clock on Sunday morning and I've been up since four. Um, I'm a bit overexcited and my brain won't switch off. Um, so let me bring you up to speed. Uh, I've had a really good week. I did the markets on Friday, markets on Saturday. Didn't earn as much on both days, but that's okay. People have gone back to school. Well, kids have gone back to school, so it's kind of changed things because it was busy the weekends that I was there because it was, you know, all the families and stuff. So it's dropped a little income-wise, but it's still good. Um, but anyway, I've had some good days. Um, I've had a few meltdowns this week from being completely overwhelmed. Um, just my brain was just too full of information, uh, which was hard. Simon been away all week. It's not normally a problem. It's really not. I'm pretty good at being on my own. But um, the fact that this whole shop thing was going on, it just melted my brain and I needed to speak to somebody about it because I value his opinion and he just wasn't there to ask and talk to really. Um, I kind of tried to speak to my brother but didn't really get anywhere because he's so busy. Um, Alex not really discussed it with Alex um, and everybody was giving me the super positive you know options but nobody was giving me the the practical well what if this happens and all of those things because um, it's it's not going to be all sunshine and rainbows is it really there's going to be downsides to it um, and I just wanted to get them out out in the open so I could deal with them and sort of look at it as a, a whole picture could it work could it not work so it is happening i am moving into the shop for all of you guys that said don't do it crystal business is not going to last and stuff like that uh it's a lease where i can get out again af uh, in a two months uh, notice period so that's good um the thought of having a roof over my head selling crystals for the winter is just wonderful because the weather's just going to get worse and worse Yes, I'm well aware that there's going to be more overheads here. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm not just selling crystals. Uh, as I've mentioned to quite a few people, I'm branching out into clothes uh, th in this season. The plan is end of September, the clothes start to roll out. Um, it might be a little bit later than that due to just getting hold of them. Because um, the wholesalers I'm using, they're all made to order. So, and they're made in big batches. So there's obviously time for them to be made. Uh, apparently it's a month and then they've got to be shipped to you. So you're talking four or five weeks. Uh, so it's probably going to be October. But that's done. I'm looking at wholesalers for clothing. Uh, I've done all my research. I think I'm nearly there now getting the stuff that I want. The only items I'm really struggling with, if anybody knows, is key rings. Uh, I've tried eBay, I've tried the wholesalers, I've tried all over. And they're so ugly and just terrible, these crystal key rings. I don't like the ones where they screw into the key ring, the, into the key ring, into the stone. I just think it's wrong. I, uh, so ways that the crystals can be incorporated without having just it'd be a little tumble stone with a piece of metal stuck in it um so yeah i'm looking trying to find a decent keyring wholesaler um also that's not argonite which is like resin with the crystals in i don't like that i don't really like the man-made stuff i'd much rather have as real as i can get i've only got a few man-made crystals in stock um anyway yesterday uh, I drove to Rossington, which is kind of near Doncaster, to pick up some uh, shop, some retail displays. They're so good. Oh my God. I will film them and show you. Um, one is for tumble stones. The other one is for incense sticks. The guy said that he just closed a shop and he had lots of incense sticks and showed me this massive box worth I'm like yeah I love that um so I'll show you that a bit later on um what else can I tell you uh, t 
today I will be pottering around the second hand shops as I normally do on a Sunday. Um, I need to catch up with my main channel with filming so that'll be either today or tomorrow, most likely tomorrow because uh, Simon will be back in London then so I'll have time. Uh, lunch times when Alf is having his nap time. Um, and then I'm off over to the shop to sort out the lease. Woo. Scary. I haven't seen it yet, so I need to read through it and all of that stuff. Oh, right, so it is six o'clock in the morning now. I've had brown, brown, wholemeal bread toast with mega jumbo eggs from the egg lady in the market. Very nice. Uh, as much as I like the duck eggs, they're very sticky. Um, and I like the runniness of the normal eggs, so I went for the mega jumbo big eggs. Very tasty. I don't know, it's six o'clock in the morning and I'm start eating eggs, but I enjoyed it. And this is the first time I've vlogged while I'm in my bed. And I thought, do you know what? Why not? I've got my pyjamas on. It's all good. Right, so I'm up now. It's 10 o'clock. We're just about to go for uh, our second hand run. And uh, I did go back to bed for a little bit because uh, I got off really early. Uh, so this is my new tumbles. Um, I don't know what you call it, really. A display case. Uh, it's going to have a card in for every single one, which I'm very proud of. Also, this is my new incense display. Look at that. When I went to collect these yesterday, a guy sold me this massive box of incense. So those were the ones I had on the right, and these were all the ones that he sold me, including all the spares. I've just had a sale of a bag, so I will get that posted when I get back. But we're off to the second hand shops. Off we go. Hello again, morning. So, we've been to the first one, the um, Prince of Wales clothing store, which got a few knickknacks. Nothing. Neither of us bought anything, but there was twins in there and another little child. And one of the twins, as I was leaving the store, went, oh my God, and it was the cutest thing I've ever heard. I think uh, when your kids grow up, it's super cute. But when the your kids, it's really not cute at all. It just grates on your ears. Anyway, um, I think we're going to quite a few today because I need shop fittings uh, and I'm looking for inspiration, really. Uh, and I'm feeling good because I've had a bit of an extra sleep. I'm feeling all right, my hair's a mess, but you know. It's Sunday. I don't have to look all prim and proper on my Sundays. And I've been going through all of my tops in my wardrobe. And uh, I was just saying to Simon, uh, the 80s want the corduroy shirt back. <laughs> Actually 70s wouldn't it be, corduroy was most famous. Anyway, yeah, we're just working my way through all my tops, seeing what fits, what doesn't fit. And it's all right, but it's these um, collars, I feel like a bit Elvis, really. Anyway, I'm not sure which one we're going to next. Uh, find out. Oh yes, just where I've been looking for mannequins. Oh yeah, I love this place. This is called the Trading Post. We come every so often. It's awesome. So I'm on it. I've got two mirrors, two full length mirrors, which would be brilliant for the walls in the shop. Um, I love these standing ones. There's one here, but it's going to take up too much space. And I found a mannequin, 30 quid. Boom, I love that. I'm going to try and fit it in the car now been looking for one on marketplace but spot on in here I like these let me show you these full standing mirrors gorgeous but I just think they're probably gonna take up a little bit too much space so if I go on the walls it'll be easier another mannequin up there but it's got no stand on that one and I've just seen this display here I just love the look of that doesn't that look cool so something like that in the window would be great with obviously crystals and lamps on it not a <laughs> typewriter and rather like random stuff but I think it looks fantastic so my shop's gonna have this like a rustic wooden look um, I'm super excited but I'm just gonna keep it down because so much distress about I've been stressing 
all week but now it's like I'm a little bit more relaxed so I'm gonna look downstairs now see what else there is I'm loving that one look at that who's that who's doing that oh I love a Tiffany lamp imagine that in the window I bet you that'll be at least 100 quid if not more oh you'll never guess who made this oh yeah Simon did that do you need any door handles there's a lot of door handles look <laughs> oh little wooden boxes we love a wooden box nice there it is the perfect mannequin blimey this one's a bit tight we'll just get through oh look at these Onyx horses. They won't be cheap. It's heavy. Nobody buys Onyx at the minute. Would that take too much room up for the altar cross? Maybe. Which one do we like? I like the height on that one. Love that place. Treading post is awesome. So she had some antique mannequins. £240 I'm like yeah if I was just having the mannequin without clothes on for the antique sort of element then yeah and that lamp was 95 she said yeah but your window's really important I went yeah it is but I've got other stuff to buy yet so let's just take it easy you know I might be back for it but I'm wanting to sell Turkish lamps there's a shop in Castleford that has the Turkish lamps and they're stunning so I found the wholesaler, so I'm going to get some for the shop to sell in the shop and have in the window. Um, so I'll probably go that route instead. There's fantastic hanging ones. So there we have her. Uh, our first uh, mannequin. £30 bargain. Need to give her a name. I'm going to darken the wood. I want it darker than that. Got some mirrors as well. You'll see me in them probably. £10 each. Brilliant. Just what I needed. Alfie's all over excited because we just got back in. Time for lunch. I'm feeling uh, not the cluck chicken. There we go. New tumbles, storage, all of the stupid amount of incense, <laughs> the dummy, mirror, coat hangers. <sighs> I've just put my first clothing order with bags and shawls in for wholesale. Woohoo! Um, I'm a bit out of breath now. I've been moving stuff around going through my wardrobe pulling out stuff that I don't need anymore so there's a big bag for the charity shop uh, I'm putting together all my white coat hangers I remember I got the white coat hangers together when Ellie passed and we were going to car boot sales and selling all of our old clothes that we didn't need anymore um, and then they all started to go to charity shops the ones that didn't sell and I bought shed loads <laughs> of white coat hangers so now I've got this big bin bag look full of Ikea white coat hangers which are going to be perfect for the shop. Simon now wants his hair cut but I'm just going to have a drink first. Oh he's singing. Burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. He sounds very like Johnny Cash don't you think? So I've just sorted the table out, ready for the Chinese food. Money's there, ready for it. Oh, what's barking about? What is it? What is it? No, Chinese food's not here yet. Oh my goodness, it smells strong in here. So Liz has just brought these, bless her. We've got sugar, tea and coffee, but that'll probably be decaf tea. Some mugs that were in my old studio, believe it or not. They've come back out again, knives and forks underneath. And some plates, which is just great. Oh, and she's also brought me a uh, clothing rail, which will be really useful. Um, not for like selling stuff on, but just for putting spare clothes and stuff on. So there we are, as always, Liz has got chicken chow mein with veg. Excitement has chicken fried rice with extra mushrooms, no peas, and I have corn fried rice. Brown yeah. yeah, well, um, and I, I've 
cut one of them as well. Um, and uh, that one worked too. Oh, that's good then. Yeah, I'm really yeah. Sure. yeah, that's it. No business, you could have thought, this is a locksmith place. Do you know, I thought about it. Yeah. I did actually think about it. And um, trouble is, Sam, I can't deal with public anymore. That's it. <laughs> I just end up telling it's them. Snap. I'm thinking tumbles could go on that end because of that. Yeah. I'll repaint the grey down there and under there and this. Yeah. The that slats up there, which are good. Um, if I remember right, it's uh, Formica. So that'll come off, it's got a thing on top. It's to Formica, is that? Um, it's not wood. Can't need the new top bit. It's plywood with Formica on it. Yeah, no, it'll be perfectly fine, just paint it. Mm. So this end will be the studio, this is for me and for later. Fireplace, I didn't know there was a wall there. Separating the two bits. And then this is going to be dispatch essentially in storage. So I utilise all them shelves up there, up here. Now, this bit of wood she's got on here, I can leave that for now, but I might get rid of that. Make into two spaces. That'd be really good. Be a bit more soundproof then. A bit more private for people. That's good. So it's about eight o'clock now. I'm back again. I didn't really say all that much when we went to the shop. It was very much about looking for, you know, where the plug sockets are, where we need to paint, um, security wise, windows, all of those things. Uh, and we're still getting some cool ideas as, as time goes on. Um, but there's two uh, areas upstairs for um, what I'm calling dispatch for wrapping and stuff like that and then studio side on the other side um, so yeah so it's been a good day it is late though now it's about eight o'clock so my vlog's not gonna be out till probably half past eight nine o'clock depending on how quick I can edit this oh no oh <laughs> Simon's just getting ready for bed uh, I've got some crystals that sold this evening, pink amethyst and tree agate and they sold for a lot less than they were worth but they haven't sold on my site since I started the business which is nearly a year ago so I thought I'd get short of those ones. Um, I've got my leaves here, I've not read it yet, I will sit and study it properly tomorrow. Tomorrow I have got only a few lessons, cancellations and having to move lessons because kids have gone back to school and college and stuff so the times have all changed um, I've got some readings to do tomorrow and it'll be filming day I'll film as many reaction videos as I can uh, and then Tuesday I think it's deliveries day I think just fill ups this time because I don't know where the uh, India um, order is that it just seems to take so much longer at the moment um, yeah so oh and Sue the florist who's moved from the shop that I'm taking over and two doors down um, she said that she might be done Wednesday Thursday and have it cleared I doubt it there's too much stuff in there to be ready Wednesday Thursday but we'll see um, obviously I won't be able to do anything Friday Saturday because I'm at markets um, but if it is Wednesday Thursday I've got Wednesday afternoon I've got Thursday morning uh, so I can get started with cleaning and stuff like that but then probably go in on the Sunday with a paintbrush uh, and paint some of the areas because there's an area that's grey that I want to be white there's a an old kind of till unit which is massive that I want to try and make smaller and repaint and do the top because the top's very old um, I think there's one other bit to paint so it's not drastic, it's not an awful lot of work to be done downstairs before that can open. Upstairs is going to take a little bit longer. But essentially, um, it's there's not an awful lot of work. It depends how much we want to put in it. When Simon mentioned dividing the two spaces between the dispatch and the teaching area by putting um, 
a stud wall in and a window which I think is a nice idea it makes it a bit more soundproof in the teaching area and there's a random sink upstairs that I didn't realise was there uh, so I don't know what we're doing with that because that could mean a toilet area uh, but I don't know much about plumbing I'd have to find out on that one um, yeah uh, so I'll sign off thanks for watching me blog vlog even and I'll see you in the next one bye loves <laughs>